from LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight, presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Hey there, welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Anna Cerullo. Tonight, UK football returns to the practice field for the spring session. While former Cat Cash Daniel, he talks with us about yesterday's pro day results. Yeah, we'll also talk with former defensive end TJ Carter, who's hoping for a second shot in the NFL. Well, we're talking defense as Kentucky football spring practice continues. That's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. Defensive coordinator Brad White and other members of the Cats D talk to the media after today's session. White says he's focusing on helping uh, develop the football IQ of his guys. You want to develop fundamentally. And what, what I want our guys to understand are concepts. Because when you get into this season and you game plan and you want to make small tweaks here or there, if they understand the concept, you can make those adjustments. You can make pattern changes. You can make cover adjustments. Because all you're doing is switching bodies. You know, and I think that's kind of what we heard from Leon Cohen on mm -hmm. offense was that, uh, you know, hey, we got the, the crux of it in. That's right. Now we just got to, you know, once they get to mm -hmm. the fall, get it all together, have everybody on the same page. Absolutely. That's definitely what I've heard in this offseason is kind of rebuilding from the foundation mm. up. And yeah. especially on defense when you have this many guys going, uh, hopefully to the NFL, you're starting <laughs> over with these brand new guys you got to count on. Yeah. And a former quarter, Kentucky quarterback Terry Wilson has found a new home for the third time in his college career, choosing to spend his last season of college football at New Mexico. As a graduate transfer, Terry Touchdown will be immediately eligible to suit up for the Lobos next season, using that extra year of eligibility thanks to the NCAA's COVID waiver. Now, in three seasons in Lexington, he posted a 17-8 and record as a starter, and he's the first player in UK football history with at least 3,000 passing yards and 1,000 rushing yards in his career. Keith, I think BBN has a lot to thank him for. He's just the second ever QB in program history to beat Tennessee and Florida on the road. Mm. Derek Ramsey being the other one and some big bowl wins against Penn State in the Citrus Bowl, NC State, the Gator Bowl, and the first 10 win season since the 70s. I think especially as we move forward, fans are really going to look back favorably on what Terry did with his time here. I, I mean, he, he directed the offense mm -hmm. perfectly and as right. you said, got those huge victories that people yeah. are going to remember for a long time. Mm -hmm. Kind of turned uh, the tide of the program. Exactly, no doubt. Kentucky basketball's newest addition, Kellen Grady, was introduced to the local media yesterday. The six foot five grad transfer guard was a four year starter at Davidson where he earned A-10 all-conference honors all four seasons. Grady says Coach Cal's interaction with his players is part of the reason why he came here. He and I watched film over Zoom and he showed me a lot of actions where, where he envisioned me um, excelling in and you know his belief in me that I can be an NBA player and that he can he can truly help me get there. Very easy for me to tell how genuine he was, how much he cares about his players. You know, he instills confidence in his players and that's and that to me is you know, incredibly important. I, I mean, just from hearing him yesterday, it feels like he's making the best decision for him to try and help him just get a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. he played so many minutes, 36 yeah. minutes a game over right. four seasons. Just that little extra mm -hmm. nudge to help him get That's into right. the league. Some people just need a little bit more time. What I thought was cool, how often do we hear about the process of recruiting, especially transfers? And he said, you know, a Cal called me every day, and then he sat down with me on Zoom and showed mm -hmm. me exactly where he could use me. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Yeah. And congrats to UK women's basketball coach Kyra Elsie, who was named Maggie Dixon, NCAA Division I Rookie Coach of the Year. She was named head coach right at the start of the season when Matthew Mitchell, he abruptly retired, and Elsie led the Cats to an 18 and 9 record overall, 9 and 6 in the SEC with a fourth place finish in the league. Kentucky also made it to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Keith, not bad for taking over last minute at the start of the season. Kentucky also defeated five ranked opponents this year. That's the most since 2016, so not bad for a first time coach in there. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about what she can do now that she just has this team fully. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's hers. hers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she is ready to get it started next year. All right, turning to UK baseball, and John Rhodes cranked a first inning home. Home run. Chase oh, Step scored a pair of runs as the Cats Daniel. defeated Bellarmine oh, yeah. by a score of four to three on Tuesday night at Kentucky Kentucky Proud Park. The team picked up their 18th victory of the season in front of the largest crowd of the year. They're back in action tonight on the road. It's a big one. Let's go. At Mississippi State, but the news is not all good. 
Senior pitcher Mason Hazelwood is out for the season after exiting with an injury during Saturday's win over Auburn. Freshman Ryan Hagenow will now have to step up, Anna. And I know we talked about this. It was disappointing because when we spoke to Coach Mingeon earlier in the week, he was so excited about the experience and the versatility he had um, at pitcher. He had a lefty and a righty. Exactly. But now, you know, um, that's a senior who's out, so we'll see if the freshman can step up. I have faith that he will. <laughs> Kentucky softball keeps on rolling with its best start in program history. Freshman Miko Harrison hit her first career home run in the bottom of the third inning as the number seven Wildcats defeated Moorhead State 13-1 to last night at home. UK now heads to Knoxville over Easter weekend to face number 18 Tennessee in a three game series and after helping create one of the most exciting comebacks in John Crop Stadium history over the weekend, sophomore outfielder, outfielder Riley Smith was named the SEC co newcomer of the week. Keith best on program history for their first 30 games and Miko's not the only freshman on <laughs> fire. Erin Koffel, she's just one home run away from breaking the freshman record with 13. She's going to break a lot of records. Yeah. UK volleyball seniors Gabby Curry and Madison Lilly have been named two of the 10 national finalists for this season's senior class award. Fans are encouraged to participate in their portion of, of the voting by visiting the senior class award website through April 14th. Craig Skinner's Cats will find out where they'll be seated in the NCAA tournament this Sunday. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we return to a discussion of yesterday's pro day for outgoing Kentucky football players. Cash Daniel of the UK Sports Network will join us with his thoughts on the eye-popping results when we return. With